It's 4.30 in the morning on January 10th, and there's a fiery single car crash in southeast Orange County. It's right there. Look, look, behind you, behind you, behind you. Orange County deputies Robert Ricks and Marco Ruiz start going through the swamp off Alafaya Trail looking for the driver. Can you hear me? Let them know possible in traffic. Chris Tosas didn't even know what happened, but deputies knew they had to get him out of that burning car. Marco, start dragging him out, dude. Come on, you got the car's on fire, bro. Tosas was stuck. I got half of my body in there and was able to <clears throat> move his shoulders a little. And he's, he grabbed me. I was like, we got to go. <laughs> and he looked at me. I was like, no, we got to go now. They got him out through the back window. <laughs> Wednesday night was the first time Tosas met his rescuers. He says it's like butterflies in his stomach. It's just a matter of seconds. I mean, never be here. So I appreciate them. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I know my family does too. Thank you guys. Even to this day, Chris Tosas says he doesn't remember what happened before the accident. All he says is that he was on his way to work at a nearby Publix. I just grateful we had a chance to uh, help keep somebody with their family because that's, that's the most important part. Chris is still recovering from a concussion and shoulder injuries. I'm in pain and I'm, I'm dealing with it every day, but I'm the lucky one I survived and it's because of these two officers here. In Orange County, Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.